Okay, so open a new Blender file. Click A to select everything, then X to delete everything. Then we'll go Shift A and insert a plane. Scale this up pretty big. Uh, then we can go into the modifier tab and add an ocean modifier. Wow, that's big. Okay. Let's just grab this up so we don't have to see that bottom part. Um, so this is a ocean modifier. So you can turn up the resolution to whatever you want. Let's turn it up to about like 20. Yeah, so, and then you could change the depth. Uh, change it to your liking. Uh, I think... Let's increase the size. Then you could, um, yeah, so I think this looks pretty good. Looks like a pretty uh, easy, flat ocean. But, um, so, if you want, you can just keep like this, do a still image for a scene or whatever, but what you can end up doing is actually changing the time. So, the farther along you drag the time, you see it'll it'll move slowly so that's how you animate it so you can keyframe stuff so let's say I set it at 30 this is what it would look like 30 seconds then you can keyframe to 0 and so the ocean would move along as you do that we're just going to keep it at 0 have a nice flat ocean ready like a lake okay so after this let's just uh, you can turn on foam if you want I mean yeah I guess we do that let's change the data layer, let's just call it foam, so we can add an attribute of that later coverage. Um, man, maybe like 3.7, maybe that'd be good. No, we don't need spray, that's going to take a while for the bake. If you want to bake that, it'll look good. Um, so, I mean, you can play around with the waves a little bit. If you want super crazy tall waves, like those ones, yeah, like this. You can do that. I don't really want that. I just want kind of a calm one. Let's set that at 2.5. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Okay, so let's get that. Let's get it all figured out. Head over to the shading editor. Shading editor tab. Okay. That took a while, but that's okay. Once so we're in here. Uh, so we. You'll probably. Yeah, so we could change this to cycles because we want it to look pretty realistic, I would assume. For you, you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, let's just turn the... Uh, if you have a GPU, you can set on GPU. This the computer I'm working on right now does not have a GPU. Let's turn this res down so it'll be quicker to render. Um, so you could just set this up. We'll look at it like that later. But So the material I found that works best for the ocean. So first things first, make a new material for your ocean. Uh, it'll be automatically principal BSDF. Let's just make this a little bigger so you can see a little easier. Um, oh yeah, I ended up turning this down a little bit so we can see it a little better. Let's, uh, okay, so you're going to want to add an emission shader because you want that foam to stand out. If you want foam, of course, you don't need foam. Uh, but I, I like foam, you know, it makes it look a little more real. And of course, you're going to want to mix it, but. Actually, I think I am going to turn this up a little bit just so we could see it. So let's go scale. Let's go, yeah, 2.5. I think that's what it was before. Yeah, so that we can see the foam a little better. Choppiness. Let's go. Uh, I think I found that good before. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty okay. Okay, so you're going to want to add a mix shader because it's not an RGB. Because you're going to want to add the emission shader to this later, or right now. This will make the foam, like, this is what makes it visible. And that foam that we named it later, that attribute. So you're going to grab that attribute again, attribute node. Plug that into the factor. And then, once you have that, that actually should look good on its own. Oh, wait, no. Foam, there we go, my bad. Yeah, so then click on your view and um, see what happens. Oh, wait, I realized I made a mistake. Um, plug this factor in the factor, not the color, my bad. And you can change this to whatever color you want. I'm probably going to change like a greenish blue sort of color. Make that darker. Yeah, something like that kind of looks oceany. 
Yeah. Okay, so once everything's set up, now it's time to hit that rendered view. I guess we turned that up a little too high. So let's go back in here. Click on this, uh, the foam. So yeah, okay, so yeah, I found this. I think I, I think, uh, it's really high. Let's go negative 0 0.5. Let's just see how that looks. Okay, not too bad. This is like a light foam because it's not really that choppy right now, but I'm going to see if we can get some more out of this. Okay, see, so after a little bit of tweaking, I ended up setting this foam value, the coverage, to a negative 0 0.15. Because I think, honestly think that looks the most realistic. So, I think this color is good. I think everything's set up. Now, um, you can animate it if you want, but now I think it's time to set up the camera. Okay, see, so yeah, after setting this up, I found a pretty good camera angle. You know, you can add a sun here if you want. Um, or a sky texture, you know, integrate this into your scene however you want, but... That's it for this tutorial. I mean, this is really it. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you. Peace.